<laughs> Joe, I work at a Dairy Queen. When can I come and see you? I guess it's pretty well known. I, uh, I love ice cream. There wasn't any time we'd be with staff, we'd be driving down the road and pass a Dairy Queen, we wouldn't stop. I like the vanilla chocolate swirl probably the best, but thanks. Nice wheels, 1967. You're right. It's my pride and joy. You know, it has hundreds of thousands of miles. They took it in about eight years ago, got it completely rebuilt, took it to a guy, put it all back together, rebuilt the engine, and it can still get up and go. I like it a lot. It's my baby. Mental health is much bigger than people think. Thank you, Joe. It's important. It's really important. And one of the things that we did in the Affordable Care Act that nobody's paying much attention to. President Obama and I insisted that insurance companies had to treat mental health no different than any other health problem. It's a problem, it's a sickness of the brain at the time, it's a disease of the brain. It should be treated, there should be no stigma. Biden-Harris 2020, real leaders wear masks. That's why I have it. And by the way, you know why we do it? Not to protect ourselves, to protect other people. Wearing a mask is a patriotic duty. It really is. It's not about freedom. It's about making sure you don't unknowingly spread it to somebody else. It matters. Be a patriot. Wear a mask. Trump said a lot of false info. Great job. Well, thank you for recognizing that. Whether I did a great job or not, it gets down to a simple proposition. It's about the American families. And he'd want to talk about that because he has no plan. Former years of Donald Trump will be former years of the same, only worse. And he has no notion about how to deal with global warming, which is the existential threat facing humanity. We have a moral obligation to deal with it. I roll down the window and I was like, Joe! And he's like, Kamala! <laughs> and we pulled over. Oh! <laughs> so this is a picture of me um, in my mother's lab. She would take us to the lab after school and on weekends. When I was a teenager, my first job was cleaning pipettes in my mother's lab. Um, I was awful and she fired me, but other than that, things worked out quite well. <laughs> this is Maya and me. We clearly were wearing bell bottoms at the time. And as you can see, I went through a growing spurt. <laughs> and so my mother took the hem out the pants. <laughs> so that Here is a photograph of me and my grandparents. My grandfather, it's so funny, you will never see him smile in a photograph. He just did not smile in photographs, but he loved to laugh. And he had an incredible sense of humor, but you will never see him smiling in a photograph. He was my favorite person. We were pen pals forever. <laughs> so this is a photograph when I was joining my sorority during a particularly active week. <laughs> in front of Rankin Chapel. That's where we are here, where we would go every Sunday for services. One of my names was C Cubed for Cool, Calm, and Collected. Aww, here's my wedding day. <laughs> and this was the moment when we were told you can now kiss the groom and kiss the bride. So that's me and my Dougie. Doug has been a prince. He has been so supportive. I love my husband. Oh my God, this is so funny. So I'm in my car, leaving the Capitol after a vote, and there walking across the street by himself with like one staff person was Joe Biden. And I rolled down the window and I was like, Joe! And he's like, Kamala! <laughs> and we pulled over and I hadn't seen him in so long. And we hugged and we talked and then we took a photograph. And here it is. That's so great. I love Joe Biden very much. It's a great photograph. We should frame this one.